Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about this recent design I just did for the uh, this thermometer carrier, if you will, to mount onto a pegboard or basically anything else, if you will. Um, long story short, what I did is I used the basic pegboard module I developed in OpenSCAD, which I also have a Thingiverse uh, uh, customizer for, and I have a link for that down below. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, video over here of how I've actually designed this to kind of share this with you guys. And so, uh, because part of the logic is, and actually I didn't come up with this on my own, but uh, some other viewers pointed out that because of the holes from the pegboard, not only can I mount it on a pegboard, I can use this with screws, or you can use this with screws, whatever, to attach to just about anything. Uh, but with this, what I came up with is I needed something to conveniently store uh, my dual thermometer. And I did a review on this a while back, so you can check under Shop Talk for this. Um, and I also have a link for this down below, too, if you're interested. It's a dual thermometer. It's got dual thermal couplers, and I've used this quite a bit, actually. And I needed a way to kind of conveniently store it, and so I came up with this mount. So, kind of long story what I did, and again, I'll be running a couple videos over here, is, is with this, um, what I did is I took and I uh, actually scanned the meter itself and then I brought that scan into Inkscape and I created a contoured profile for it. Now I, I could have gone a couple different routes uh, with this but I kind of wanted a little bit of the contour of, of the um, meter in here. Now in full disclosure I didn't get as much of the contour as I had uh, I had wanted because my original idea because the meter itself if I actually pull these off Okay, this is going to be a little bit harder than it looks. You get these off. They go in there pretty tight. So if we take a look at this, the meter is actually contoured on the side. And you're probably seeing that in the scan over there, or have seen that in the scan over there. And so I, I kind of was thinking something about where it just kind of form fit in there, but then and, and kind of kept it from falling forward. But that really didn't work out um, so good. So that's where I decided to just take that profile and have it so it just slides in like that, and I can slide it out. And so I created the profile in Inkscape. Now from creating the profile, what I then did is I took the profile of the meter, measured the height of the meter, and brought that into Tinkercad. And then from that, what I did is I added margin to it for around here, and then obviously some front, and put it on top of the pegboard. And then from there, uh, you know, that gave me sort of my base, what I would call buck in design terms, if you would. And then what I did is after I, I took the original, because remember I took an added margin to it for these edges in the front to hollow out this piece. And again, it's kind of form fitted to the bottom down here of the meter. So the meter slides in, it sort of receives it like that. Uh, and, and then I had these front pieces that, again, I could leave it on the pegboard, still see the meter, still access all the buttons. Um, and, and the, you know, the pieces, I kind of wanted to minimize, uh, you know, supports as much as possible. You know, and I vexed, and well, one of the things I want to show is, is I took and I put, to get rid of the holes, because that would have been added travel time, the small holes, uh, I took another block and put it in there, because this is a 3 millimeter height. And then I knocked out two large holes to reduce travel time in plastic. Now, I thought about doing it here, but I, I kind of uh, felt that that would, you know, kind of be a little bit of give and take and not provide much value. And I sort of liked the just completeness of having the solid. So I left it that way, more of a design um, concerns, or not design concerns, but, you know, uh, aesthetics, if you will. Uh, can plug these. These really go in hard. But then, then what I did is I also extruded a smaller version of this up to create this opening which matches. So all three of these, the interior buck and the, the, uh, the outer buck, the interior buck, and the buck that extends out, which you have probably or are seeing over on the other side, what this does is they're all proportional to one another. So they're just simply scaled at different sizes. So it kept, keeps the same rough shape um, 
as the meter itself and so that's how I kind of lines everything up and then I just use the align tool as you're seeing to kind of align everything um, there and then knock this center piece out so that's roughly how I design this and, and the reason I share this with you is I think it's a probably a good idea to you can use this for a lot of different things because I usually start with a scan uh, to kind of mock up the models that I'm going to do the 3d design of and same thing I did here now the one other piece is after I designed this up, it kind of hit me, is I need some place to put the thermocouples. So what I did is kind of went back, I had this extra room here, so I just decided to put these semi-cleats on each side to roll up the um, thermocouplers on, and that actually worked out very good. That was a little bit of, I had forgotten it and was able to come back to the design and add that to it. And so, uh, and again, I sort of branded it up here. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. So I printed it in PLA. It does, you do have to have supports in, in here. You can see a little bit of supports. I haven't cleaned this one up uh, that well yet. Um, but I think if you have something like Simplify 3D, you can get away. It doesn't need a lot of supports. I think Cura put in far too much supports for this uh, than it needed. But I think with Simplify 3D, you can really knock that down because you can define your own supports. And so, uh, anyways, I think this came out pretty good. I, I've been pretty happy uh, with this whole design. And again, I think if you've seen a little bit of um, you know a theme here, so because I designed this pegboard module for a specific reason to create stuff like this, I wanted an easy way. So what I do is I just go to th uh, Thingiverse through the customizer, put in the rough size of pegboard I want, and it outputs. And then I take that and bring that into Tinkercad and do all the stuff that you've now been watching over there. And so kind of really handy to do this and again it makes it a little ambidextrous because we can hang this on a pegboard we can screw this into a wall we can do a lot of different things with this base pegboard design so this is one of the things that I really liked about kind of going through this so I'm going to do a couple more like this um, because I really like the flexibility and it really cleans up the shop because one of the big things that I like is sort of a Casey Neistat approach everything should have its place you shouldn't spend a lot of time looking for or getting what you need to do the job and and that's really what this is all about is is being able to have that easy convenience so it looks good because hey nine tenths of any project is how you look and then the second thing is is to have it available when you need it and know where to go get it so everything should have its spot so that's why I'm kind of liking doing these projects is helping me clean up the shop quite a bit too so anyways hopefully you found this uh, video interesting if you did hey make sure you give it a big thumbs up uh, don't forget swag shops gonna be up there subscribe buttons gonna be over there hit me up in the comments below what you think and of course I'll have the links to this on Thingiverse and the meters and the the customizer and, and everything else down below so you know just check down below and there'll be links to all that so cheers and see you in the next video Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.